This is the Marlana J. Today Show on WWE AM 1100. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the music, community information, some leaders, and conversation, as well as some motivation. Marlana J. Today Show. Thank you. Thank you for joining in to the Marlana J Today Show. You guys are in for something special today. I have a special guest in the building. Mr. uh, Ian Burke will be speaking with me about some things that's going on right here in Atlanta. We're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. And so we want to definitely have him Uh, tell us about some new things that he's doing. And then I've got some special guests in the studio to talk about some beautiful things that are happening in September. So you guys hold on. Do not move your seat. I've got some special music for you too, because I've got some superstars in the building. Why don't we listen to some Usher? This is for you, you, my number one. This is for you, you, my number one. This is for you, you, my number one. Spotlight, big stage, 50,000 fans waiting in a way. Bodyguards and limousines, this is the way I see you in my dreams. Paparazzi flash, hundred pictures all of you Hanging on my bedroom wall I'm a kid again, I feel like 13 But I mean, since we fell in love Fell up here I've been your baby Oh, oh, you are my son Superstar, yeah I've been number one fan Give me your autograph Usher superstar. He is a superstar in our, in our, um, at least in mine anyway. I think Usher can dance, sing, perform. He's just awesome. And then, of course, we've got someone on the line called uh, Ian Burke. He has been an AR person in the industry and in the 
19, late 1980s and 90s. He brought a lot of good hip hop to us, a lot of good artists like TLC, Outkast. He, he got them out on the, uh, the map, so to speak. And I just want to do a little tribute to Outkast called So Fresh. Mr. Ian Burke. Hello. Hey, 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 everybody. How are you? How are you? I'm going to give you some I'm applause so well. again. I'm going to give you some applause again. Thank you so much. Uh, thank thank you. you so much for uh, joining Marlana J Today Show. I really appreciate it and humbled by taking the time. You've been on 107. You've been on 95. You've been on most of the radio stations. You've taken time to do podcasting and everything while you're here in Atlanta, um, promoting not only just the 50 years of hip hop and the anniversary of that, but also all the impact that you've made here in the community. And I just wanted to have a few minutes for you to just share some of those intricate nuggets that you've learned along the way. You are a power powerful force to be reckoned with. You have done some mighty things here in Atlanta and across the globe. When you say that you started out as an AR, but that's not how you really started out. You were doing a couple of other things and God just kind of groomed you to be who you are today. Can you share with the audience what makes Ian Burke the man he is today? Well, it's, it's the work that I actually put into it. You know, I, I moved here from New York back in 1984, um, and I came here to study computers, and the music business sort of found me. I sort of fell into it. Um, so before the whole A&R and the management stuff, I was a roadie, and that helped me build my character. And what a roadie is is a, is a gentleman who... Uh, moves tour equipment, sound equipment and stuff, and sets it up for local bands and things of that nature. So that helped me build my character in the business, you know. And um, you know the old saying, uh, in order to be a good leader, you have to know how to serve. Yes. So I had to serve my client um, first and, and then work my way up to the positions that I was able to obtain uh, during my tenure in this business. Yeah. And, and I love your story because one thing that you said that I think was the most powerful piece of who you are and how you became who you were, you weren't scared to work. And I think the young people today don't understand the manifestation of who you are came when you decided to help uh, one of the bands do their cleanup. You actually worked with the equipment and bought a truck and so that you could actually put their equipment in and take their equipment wherever they need it to be. You were actually putting their equipment up, their sound systems up. You were you were doing the grunt work, what we call the grunt work, and you did not stop. And those things led you to meet people of influence. And you you talk about how you were um, with Dupree uh, and his dad. You worked with them, and then that opened up the door. You've, you've basically been able to do a lot, and I just – I wanted to be able to just share with the audience how much you have really impacted our community. How did you come about discovering TLC? Well, I was uh, a big fan of uh, Belle Biv DeVoe uh, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. 
and um, I, I always thought that it would be a cool situation if we if we had a female version of that. So I was working with a young lady named Crystal, mm-hmm. and uh, like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna put together this thing, uh, and we're gonna you know, and we're gonna make it work. And uh, Rico Wade from Organized Noise uh, told me he had the perfect person for me for for this particular project. And uh, he was supposed to bring her to me at this audition, but instead he brought a young lady named Lisa Lopez to the audition because the the other young lady couldn't make it. And um, I was like, wow, this is cool. At, At first, though, you know, she wasn't dressed apart. Like, I wanted, like, pretty tomboys. You mm-hmm, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was looking for uh, a group that, you know, that, that, that you could really hang with, like your homie, your friend, and, you know, that was relaxed, not not the pretty girls uh, or, or the glamour girls, I should say. And, um, but, you know, Crystal heard her rap and, and was like, hey, you need to hear her rap. And, and she rapped for me. And I was like, okay, you, you sound really good. But, you know, you're dressed in uh, the attire that I'm not. And, and and she was the one who was like, yo, I don't really dress this way. I thought this is what you were looking for. Wow. I wear baggy clothes. And I was just like, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So um, she got in the group. And when she got into the group, uh, I was really anxious to see this other young lady that um, Rico Wade was telling me about. So at 2 o'clock in the morning, we drove over to this young lady's house. Uh, after she got off work and you know as soon as she opened the door i knew right off that she was the one the young lady of course was tion tibaz watkins wow and uh i was like wow you're you're incredible you know you know for somebody who was just getting up out of bed you know and answering the door and she was like you want me to sing and i was like it's not even necessary you got the look that i'm looking for but she sang for me anyway. She sang, uh, uh, I don't know if it was Jody Watley or Guy song. Mm-hmm. And, you know, right away. And that's how Tion, Luca, and Crystal got together. And I didn't name them TLC. Pebbles changed the name that I had for them uh, to TLC later on in the situation. Right. But I was calling them Second Nature. Okay, because I, I, you know, we all want to know the dibs, so we watch the Lifetime movies and all of that, right? And so how how true is that to them discovering versus you really putting them on the map? I think, you know, my biggest thing is, Ian, I just want people to know the impact that you've had in our community. And you're doing some great things in the next uh, few months. You're working on a film. And I want you to talk about that because you have done so many things to open up doors for so many people. The last thing we can do and the most important thing we can do is celebrate you, right? And make sure that we're supporting you in this new endeavor and this new venture that you're doing in filmmaking because now aside from being a promoter an RA a developer an artist developer you are now a film producer and doing some great work in film and what is the next project you have coming out well to, to answer those questions in order I, I just want to state that the face was uh, the one who actually released TLC through a a side deal that Pebbles had with them. So Pebbles and the Face Records played played a very important part in the launching of TLC. But, of course, if they weren't put together, then, you know, that launch would have been impossible. Exactly. So it was was important that I put the the three young ladies together Yes. And and created and and created this image, this this look that Pebbles was able to capitalize on, and had the good foresight to include Dallas Austin to produce the project. Yes, and that's what launched the whole situation with TLC. And I just want to give a tribute to TLC right now and to you for being able to be in the background. Nobody had to know your name, but had it not been for you, we would have this. Yeah, and, and, and that's, that's pretty much what it is, you know. But everybody played their part from Rico Wade to Jermaine Dupree, who created the first demos for Second Nature, 
the Pebbles and the Face Records, you know, they all played a part. Yeah. And now, do you find it very interesting? Um, and as you move towards this new venture in your life, you're doing some film. You're going to do the Bronze Lens Award Show coming up. And, and it's actually more than just that. It's it. They actually have a lot of different um, workshops and stuff like that going on this coming Friday and Saturday. Tell us a little bit about that and your participation in that. Are you a keynote speaker? Yeah, I, I am speaking on the, uh, they have a panel there being presented by the mayor's office. And um, I'm speaking on that panel uh, along with Joe Howell, the director of my documentary or my docuseries, Cordelia Hunter, Lisa Cunningham, and Falana Williams okay. are all going to be on that panel in celebration of the 50th anniversary of hip hop. But first, they're going to screen my docu series. Yes, uh, that I have to do. And a special shout out to my girl Ty Johnson Chavis, who is a producer on the project, who helped me get into the Bronze Lens Festival. Wonderful. And uh, you got to yeah, tell us the so, title, Ian. Tell us the title it, before you have to go. Yeah, it's the, the title of it is Song of the South, and it takes place, the screening takes place this Friday at 5 o'clock. So, yeah, at the Landmark Theater on Monroe. Wonderful. So those, li- those listeners who want to go, is it a free event, or do you have to have a ticket? No, you know, you have to get tickets. There's tickets for it, and I believe the, the, the tickets for the whole event, for the panel the bronze carpet and the screening itself, I believe is $35. That's right. So my listeners, all you have to do is go to bronzelens.com and you can get on the Eventbrite and actually get your tickets. Again, it's Friday. The the program starts exactly at six, uh, six to nine. There's a red carpet at five o'clock. And then of course we have Saturday, a day of events. So you don't want to miss it. Anybody in hip hop, R&B, music in general, anybody in the industry, anybody in film, there's going to be a lot of film producers there that are leveling up. It's always good to connect and interconnect and interweave those talents and gifts. And one thing I love about you, Ian, you are not afraid to network and you call it dream weaving. And I love it because you make dreams happen And you can continue to fulfill those promises of people. You see the potential in folks and you go after that potential in them and and make them strive to be their best. So this docu-series is going to be really, really a fulfillment for those who need to know how to make it in this kind of business. And they need to see what you've also achieved as a young man. So I appreciate you. Ian, is there anything else you want to share with the audience? Absolutely. I also want to point out that, you know, I have two projects in the Bronze Lens Festival. I'll also be screening my feature project, which is a project I'm shopping to TV right now called The Aquatic. Okay. And that's a show that I'm doing. That screening takes place on Saturday at, at 1230 at the same theater in Midtown, Landmark Movie Theater on Monroe Drive. And, yeah, that is, that's a show that I did uh, with my brother, my older brother, and my partner, Dion Kuba. Wonderful. Um, now, tell us a little bit about aquatics. Just a little bit. Don't Just give us a sizzle. Don't give us the whole uh, thing. It's a, it's a, real quick, it's about a group of wayward teenagers learning how to scuba dive and, and learning ocean conservation and restoration for our oceans. So wow. it's a... Uh, it's educational, but it's entertaining at the same time. And you're talking about our global warming and, and all the things Absolutely. that happen with that. And you're such yes. a in-depth person. You have a deep well of history. You have a deep well of motivation, inspiration, and even education when it comes to different aspects of life and entertainment and tenacity. And I just want to thank you again for sharing your time with me, sharing your space with me. And I hope the listeners have been able to at least get a couple of nuggets. And listen, if you guys really want to 
hear him in full throttle, you need to be at that bronze lens because you get to see some of his work as a film producer. Then you get to see him on stage and talk to you and, and, and give you some insight on the business. And then you get to sit and watch another movie. So man, you're going to get all that you need from him on this weekend. Again, bronze lens again, Ian F. Burke. Thank you so much for taking time with Marlana J. I appreciate you so much. I know you've Absolutely. been on this. Sh- you've been on so many interviews uh, this week. You, you are you good? Are you good? You you've been yeah, moving I'm, around I'm, in town. I'm, good. I, I'm I'm doing my thing. My my PR Tia Culver has got me in in every nook and cranny she can possibly get me in. So yes. I am doing very well, very well. Wonderful. I just want to shout out. Um, also, my Instagram is i a n f. B-U-R-K-E, for those who care to check out my page and maybe follow me, they can find out everything that I'm doing this week up to the the actual film festival from my uh, Instagram page as well. Definitely. We're going to follow you, Ian. Ian F. Burke follow him. Make sure you check out his website. It talks about his film production. If you actually click it, it'll give you all the information on his history and what he's all about as a film producer. So I am so grateful again for your presence being on today and make sure that you continue to follow him and continue to support what he's doing out there. Thank you, Ian. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Man, peace to you, man. And uh, continue your journey of success and rising to the top. I, I look forward to great things from you as a film producer. If if it's anything like your promotions, we know it's off the chain. So we're going to support you and I'll see you Friday. Yes, man. All Thank right. You. Peace out. Thank you so much, Ian.
Yeah, that was Anthony Hamilton, Struggle No More. And again, I had Ian F. Burke on the line, and he was just fantastic guest. And I have some other guests in the studio with me that I'm going to bring on in just a minute. They've got some great news that's coming up in September for some ladies out there that are looking for a retreat. You know, that song, I Don't Want to Struggle No More, sometimes you got to get with some people to not struggle, you know, be encouraged and be inspired to be your best. So that's what we're going to talk about in just a few minutes. But, you know, we all have the victory. And I just want Anthony Brown to bring us in to that because I know we all have the victory. No matter how we struggle, we all have the victory. Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, JP. Hey, JP. Baby, duh, duh. Yes, sir. <laughs> get cranked on that I don't know what happened what happened to you I don't know what happened to you if you didn't get cranked on that I got victory by Anthony Brown and I tell you what he's like I got it that's really the title but uh, it's it's nice to have the victory and that's what he's talking about listen I have some ladies in the studio with me hello Hi. Hello. How are y'all doing? doing wonderful. Great. Wonderful, nice wonderful, wonderful. I am so glad that it and honored to have the Soul Sisters 
ATL in the house. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hello, we are in the house. <laughs> I am so happy that you all uh, took out busy time of your schedules to sit down with Marlana J and share with us what you all are getting ready to bring to Atlanta because they're in for something special. Women, if you're listening, if you're in any area, it doesn't matter if you're in Texas, Chicago, we got a Chicago in, we got a New York, we got we have every state represented and at this conference. And so it doesn't matter if you're in California, if you're in Washington, DC, you're hearing this on iHeartRadio. I know that all of us need some encouragement. All of us need some togetherness. All of us need some fun, some relaxation, some good word on how we can conquer these things in our world today as women, right? Yes. And so the Soul Sisters are doing, wait for it, Life Lift Conference on September 29th. Through October 1st. And they're going to share with us some exciting things that are going to happen at that conference. Okay, I'm going to introduce you all. I know Kelly, who is the founder, is not with us today. Kelly um, Whaley is not with us today. So we're going to give you a shout out, Kelly, because you're going to hear it. I know you're going to hear it. <laughs> so I want to make sure you get yours, right? We're going to get Kelly hers. Yes. And then we have Angela in the house. Hey, Angela. So we had Angela on the line, and then we have LaTanya, and we have G G Jerry. Jerry. I was getting ready to call her Gigi, but uh, <laughs> Jerry. And I just want you all to talk about some of the things that um, the Life Conference is all about, the Life Lift Conference. And for those who are looking to get tickets, make sure that you put life and then a L Y F T conference in the the column uh when you do the search for your tickets go ahead um you want to start go ahead uh jerry holmes okay. and talk about let me let me just introduce you okay. um you have a book you're an author yes and you're a singer yes and you have done a lot of different things and even taught some dance. Is that what you or discernment? What did you what did you teach on? Um, actually, I am an author and I'm a self-taught dancer. Oh, you're yes, a self-taught dancer. I've taught, I've taught some um, children dances, a liturgical dance. Awesome. Yes. I'm a liturgical <laughs> dancer myself. Yeah. I know how <laughs> wonderful that can be. It's an expression of God's worship yes. at the, the ultimate place. And yes. we go to his altar and a lot of people don't understand liturgical dancers we we fight war mm. we fight the spiritual wars when yes. we move right yes and so your book distractors yes is that it what is? is yes it is tell us a little bit about that and and is it on amazon where where can we find your book Yes. Um, so, yes, I um, my book um, title Distractors came out last year mm -hmm. um, and uh, it talks about those things or people that are interrupting your peace um, that is, you know, foul playing in your purpose. Those p things and that are those people and things that are not allowing you to be all you can be or what God ca have called you to be oh, wow. because you are distracted. And I want to tell the audience is not um, uh positive distractors, but more so negative distractors. And that can be narcissistic people in your life. It could be mm -hmm. negative people in your life. It could be those that are following you around to distract you. Mm -hmm. And so anything or anyone that is blocking you from being all you can be and getting to your purpose, they're distractors. Okay. Um, you can find my book on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and all the online stores. Okay. And also my website is www.jerryhomes.com. Wonderful, Jerry. Now, the time we know each other, so it's going to be yeah. hard for me to do a little <laughs> interview like real personal, you know. But I am going to do my best because, uh, right, um, you have so many 
awesome things that you do. Social Butterfly, you do a lot of events. I think main, you have uh, your human resource person, uh, director. So you have a lot of hats, but I think one of the greatest hats that I love about you is that you're personable. Mm -hmm. Even in your marketing, even in your display of leadership, you're personable. You make sure you connect with everybody. I've seen you at events when the servers, you connect with them, you connect with the cleaning people, you connect with everyone, including entertainment. So just tell us a little bit about you, Miss Jones, because you're now Miss Jones. I was happy yeah. in this house. Yes. <laughs> Make sure I say that right. <laughs> Linnell's going to beat me up if I don't give him the prop. <laughs> All right, bro. I know you're on the line listening. Um, but just native of Chicago, wife and mother and, and daughter, of course, you really do hone in what God created you to be. Number one is a virtuous woman. Yes. And you, under all of that, that is your main hat, your main yes. focus. Mm-hmm. And so in that, you do a lot of outreaching, whether it be in the corporate community, making sure people get the jobs that they are required are are actually qualified to get. Right. You know, you can mention That's some right. of that. That's a good, good, uh, good inset okay. <laughs> for you. And then also talk about the impact of what you're really doing as far as evangelism. You you really do have on a weekly basis, really motivational type work that's done scripture and then a little bit of motivational speech in in your scripture uh, foundation. You do a Bible study on Facebook. And I think people are missing some of those key elements because we don't know that that's what you do uh, outside of all of the professional things that you do. So I just wanted you to share with that, uh, share with us some of the things that you really have on your heart to share today. Okay. So as Marlena mentioned, I'm Latanya. Ponty Jones, at <laughs> Mrs. Jones, right? <laughs> and um, founder of Social Butterfly Productions, which is an event planning company also. Um, I am the director of resources and strategic accounts for a company called New Core Vision Incorporated based out of um, Maryland. And at that company, I actually have a recruiting team under me whereby um, I help people, as Marlana said, you know, get jobs, those individuals that are qualified, you know, for technical positions. So we really work hard and strive hard to ensure that we get the most qualified candidates for our clients. On the flip side, okay, that's my primary, but on the flip side, I consider myself to be an evangelist, right? And that is my first love. Um, My first love is spreading the gospel, you know, letting people know, you know, that Jesus lives, Jesus saves, Jesus heals, and he definitely reigns. Um, And um, my social media network is called Bless to Bless Network, and it's on Facebook, and it's B-L-E-S-S-E-2-T-O-B-L-E-S-S-E-D, I'm B-L-E-S-S-E-D, i am sorry, 2 T O Bless B L E S S Network on Facebook. On Instagram, it's Blessed to the number two Bless Network, basically. And the same messages, um, word for the week, you know, I put them out at the beginning of every week just so that people could get motivated, you know, people could um, get a word from the Lord. And all of the messages that are out there um, on social media are word based messages. They're not something that's just coming from the voice of Latanya, but they're inspired, you know, by the Holy Spirit. And I always follow the messages up with scriptures so that people can actually read the scriptures and see where the word ties in to the messages, right? Mm-hmm. So it's enlightening. And, yeah. You know? And and I think that that's one reason why you are doing what you're doing and, and what the organization is, is doing. Soul Sisters, in Atlanta is because of all of the intricate spaces that you all operate in individually, yes. you came together collectively. Yes. So let's talk about that. Let's talk <laughs> about that. Listen, Jerry, I'm I'm going to ask you. Okay. So uh, with the Soul Sisters, you guys came collectively together and uh, you you came in uh, with the troop. And, and what was your your part to play in that? Um, well, actually, Kelly and I have known each other for over 30 years. Mm-hmm. Um, and so um, 
when Kelly called me to ask me to be a part of this and I said, well, you know, I've attended a lot of women conferences over the years. And I said, I don't want us to be sitting there. I want us to have an embrace of interactive conference. I want the ladies to really not only hug, but face off, you know, um, relate, you know, network, um, hug each other, you know. So I wanted it to be a little bit more with a little dancing in there, you know. So I'm a bubbly person and I wanted people to feel like they were coming to retreat, yes. um, to be involved and not just sitting there the entire time. And so that's that's how I became. I said, if you can, if you can get that deal together, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. We're going to play a little bit of uh, Sweeter by Kim Burrell because that's exactly what you all have done. You've designed it to be a sweet yeah. experience yeah. because this is going to be a girly girl type deal and we're going to yes. talk about yes. it we're going to talk about all the beautiful things you guys <laughs> got story. going on the jabon, yes. j- uh, pajama party yes. you've got uh, a dynamic keynote speaker coming mm-hmm. you've got all kinds of ministers and evangelists and, and entrepreneurs and business women that are going to be speaking into lives of those who mm-hmm. are in the audience And then you've got a fashion show that's going to be off the chain with the Wilborn sisters. And we're going to give Janice a shout out because she's (laughs) an awesome woman. Let's just go to a little bit of sweeter because it's going to be so sweet. You'll come for me. It's a little rough at times. Don't know what to do. Lord, I know you will help me make it through. The day before To know ya, know ya, and find out that you're so good for me. You've been so good to me. Yeah. Every, every, every day, day is sweet, sweeter, sweeter than the day before. Every oh, day sweet, learning how to love you more. Every, every day, day is sweeter, sweeter, sweeter than the day before. me wanna add another day to my week cause you're so sweet That's Sweeter, Sweeter by Kim Burrell, and every day is getting sweeter. And listen, I'm talking about the Life Lift Conference with some of the Soul Sisters ATL here in Atlanta. And if you didn't get your tickets yet, pick up your tickets today because the event is September 9th, uh, 29th through October 1st. It's going to be a weekend full with not only fun, but expectancy for those women who are looking for change 
in their directory and know who they are, but they've gotten off track. Sometimes you got to be with some other people of like mindedness to get back on track and be able to facilitate what God has put in your heart to do and not be so conformed by what the world is saying you're to do. And so one of the keynote speakers is uh, Dr. Lovelace. Yeah, yes, Sharita. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Sharita's going to be there. And you've got Erica Hill. Yes. She's going to be there. Mm-hmm. Finance. And mm-hmm. Finance. Mm-hmm. You've got uh, Pastor Renee Humphrey. She's going to mm-hmm. be here. And there's just a numerous folks that have the ability to speak into your lives on every level, financial, yes. spiritual, Mm-hmm. Physical, because there's going to be some physical activity. Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> and uh, emotional, mm-hmm. because you've got some people that are going to be speaking about the emotional healing and the emotional yes. wherewithal of what we deal with as women and mental issues that we deal with. Um, so you, you, you all are just going to be in for a treat for those who are listening um, about the conference. Latanya, tell us on in your in your words, what do you think the conference will mean to those who uh, come and partake of it? On Friday, what are y'all doing on Friday? So on Friday, that is our registration. It's also our the time that we will do our icebreakers mm-hmm. to get the women to interact and get to meet each other. Mm -hmm. And then Friday evening, we are going to have our pajama jam. Yeah. It's a girl's chat, (laughs) right? Girl's chat. It's a pajama jam, right? Uh So, and at that pajama jam, it will be an opportunity to actually, um, have skits about different life experiences that women as a whole have and where we can actually engage with the other women Mm -hmm. and, you know, all the guests there and everybody give their feedback. Mm. So it's going to be like a, it's a healing check. It's It's going to be a healing process. It's going to be fun with pajamas. Yes. Okay. And these are for the, the virtual friends that are going to be joining as well. You just get on your virtual line and get your virtual pajamas and go on it and do, do what you can do if, you in Chicago and you want to support the <laughs> Tanya and you can't be here, it's okay. Right. Get your ticket anyway and put your pajamas on right. And, right. And, and enjoy the fun. <laughs> and then um, Saturday you all have a field day with all kinds of activities. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got so many things going on and there's flyers on the website. Let's give the website because I don't want to neglect any information. So let's give the website so people can go to the website. Great. So our website is www.soulsisters with an S ATL.com. Awesome. And that's real easy. And it's all on the flyer. So you all know how to get in contact with the website now so that you can actually go on there and see the activities. But Saturday, you all start early Mm -hmm. and you guys go from Saturday morning to Saturday evening. evening. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Some of the things you're going to do. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. We're going to have um, some wonderful breakfast. Make sure you come and get that breakfast because it's going to be fresh. Um, We're going to also have uh, speakers um, that are going to be talking about, as you mentioned earlier, uh, speaking of everything, health and wealth, finance, um, you know, dealing with emotions, um, dealing with everyday life. Uh, So we got so many speakers coming on board. We also going to have wonderful speakers that's going to be there. Um, They're going to have a little of everything. Um, We're going to also have a fashion show Mm. that is going to be incredible. Um, And so we're asking everyone to just be prepared to have a fantastic time, come out (laughs) and be ready to regroup, regroup, Relax, rejuvenate, rebound, because we're going to be offering all those things that day. So, and also come dress to impress. Yeah, I, I hear that. <laughs> if you you come to the fashion show, you're going to feel real bad if you don't, because Miss Jan is going to do her thing. Yes. Now, Latanya, I want you to talk about the brunch, that hat brunch, because oh, I yay. know that yes. that had to do with you. <laughs> that we're going to wear some hats on the brunch yes, day. Right. Yeah, we got the brunch on Sunday. Definitely. So, on Sunday, it will be our hour of power Mm -hmm. right and after the ladies um check out that's our this is our finale day okay 
So the first thing we're going to have is our hour of power, and it will start off at 830 in the morning okay. with um, 30 minutes of worship and praise. Yeah. Awesome. You know? mm-hmm. So that's going to be an awesome thing. And then we have um, two speakers to um, engage the women, you know, with a word from the Lord awesome. on um, Sunday for that hour of power afterwards. Then it is time for our Hattitude Brunch. Hattitude Brunch. Right? Hattitude Brunch. Our yeah. brunch. Okay, so, so we're going to ask that you leave hats. the attitudes at home, okay. but bring your Hattitude <laughs> on. Okay. Because <laughs> right. this is about sisterhood. This is about sisterhood. This is about sisterhood. Yes. I love the Soul Sisters. I was able to meet all of them. And you all um, just signify what we need to do as women. Embrace each other as individuals. We're not cookie cutters. We're not, um, like you said, Jerry, you're Mm -hmm. outgoing. And then Latanya, she's very organized Mm -hmm. and administrative. And and then you have um, Kelly. She's, you know, kind of like the the steady rock in the room, you know, and and Angela. So. I just it, it was it was about 30 or 40 women and it we were all getting along we were all having a wonderful time and this conference is going to be duplicating that type Definitely. of love in the room Definitely. and it from 200 to 300 women getting together in a place where it, you know and we're not going to limit it we, if we can get 500 in the place we'll be happy yeah, maybe, but yeah. um <laughs> at the end of the day it's about showing each other love yes. and being being there for each other and I know as a woman we are strong in everything we do for everyone else it's time to take out time for ourselves don't feel guilty about taking time out whether you need to get a babysitter or you need to just put put everybody on notice that this weekend grandma ain't gonna be able to do grandma duties whatever it is ladies Let's make sure that we get together on September 29th yes. through October 1st. Go on the website, www.soulsistersatl.com and get your tickets today again, September 29th through October 1st for a phenomenal weekend of love, of expected, uh, expected end. Because when you get what you need from God and from man, woman, child, it is something about what we give the soul yes. that gives us enough energy to mm-hmm. move in this earth in another atmosphere. And I truly believe that that's what's going to happen. I think lives are going to be changed Mm -hmm. and uh, healing is going to take place and love is going to be spread in the room. And if anybody knows Wilborn Sisters, they have some fashion that's out of this world. And so bring your pocketbooks, (laughs) too, because Mm. you're going to see something you may want to get. And we don't want you to leave empty handed. I tell you, this is going to be a really, really nice affair. So don't miss it. When go ahead and play a little Holy Holy by Marvin Gaye. I just love this song because if we're whole, W H O L E, yes, then we can be holy, H O L Y to yes. God, yes. even in more. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, yes. expectancy. I love that. Yes, that's beautiful. So let's play a little bit of that. Come together, holy, holy. People, we all gotta come together. Cause we need the strength, power. Oh. I love that song because I I chose that just for you all Mm. because it is about getting together with one another Mm. in Mm. oneness. And that is being whole and holy. And you guys have come together to create an atmosphere for women to thrive 
and to be a part of what God has created each and every one of us to be, which Amen. is whole. Amen. And so you guys are touching the whole piece of us. Right. Yes. You've got the fun part. Yes. You've got the serious part. Yes. You've got yeah. the emotional part yes. and pieces yes. yeah. and the spiritual uh, awakening and knowledge and wisdom yes. just covers all of it. Yes. Yes. And so, mm-hmm. yeah. And so I just wanted to play that because at the end of the day, the show is guaranteed to be a community advocate. And this is about community. This, this, uh, conference that you all are doing life lift conference is about community about women being stronger in their um in their their home life and in their employment and in every area of their lives to be stronger and to be lifted Mm -hmm. and that's what this is all about to lift up each other right yes and so thank you all so much for coming and thank being you. with Marlana J. Thank you for having us. <laughs> thank you. Thank I just you. appreciate yes. both of you all thank for being in the studio with me. And for those who could not be here, my love goes out to you all as well. Make sure you guys follow them. If you want to give your social media platforms so they can follow you real quick. Well, actually, um, we are, well, they can just go to our website. Mm-hmm. Um, Everything is there, www.soulsisteratl.com, so okay. they can check it out. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So you all check out the website. You all know that uh, Marlana J is just honored to have women around me. I love supporting women in business. And so thank you all for coming out, and thank you for joining the Marlana J to show today show also want to thank ian burke again for coming and being present with me (laughs) today what an awesome icon in the business thank you mr burke for showing up and showing out again again thank you all for listening to marlana J. Thank you for listening to the Marlana J Today Show. I hope you were inspired and motivated, and hopefully you have some inspiration to continue your journey. Again, thank you for joining in. Thank you for all my guests and everyone that uh, gave us a little bit of nuggets along the way and all that great music, right? You guys have a blessed day and a blessed week. Marlana J Today Show.